boiler calculations. In this one, we have a drum here. We are supplying the feed water. We are getting the steam here. To convert the water into steam, we are supplying the fuel at the rate of m dot f. m dot f is called as mass square of a fuel, and Cv is called as calorific value. Feed water is supplied at temperature T2, so H2 will be equals to HF at T1. Steam form may be wet steam, dry steam, or superheated. If it is a wet steam, then H1 will be equals to HF plus XHFG. Dry and saturated it will be HG, and superheated it will be HG plus Cp soup T soup minus T set. This data is ported to you, so you can calculate H1. You can calculate H2. Mass of fuel, calorific value will be provided. So heat transfer required for steam is m dot s into h1 minus h2. Energy received from the fuel is Q in is equals to mass of coal into Cv or mass of fuel into Cv. Where this is the heat input and this is the amount of heat utilized is m dot s into h1 minus h2. So we can define boiler efficiency as energy received by fuel upon energy supplied by fuel. So boiler efficiency is mass of m dot that is the mass point of the steam multiplied by h1 minus h2 upon mass of coal multiplied by L. Equivalent operation from and at 100 degrees Celsius is m dot into h1 minus h2 upon hfg corresponding to saturation temperature of 100. From steam table this value is approximately equals to 2256.9. Mass m dot here is basically ratio of mass flow rate of steam upon mass flow rate of coal. Evaporative, evaporative capacity it is the amount of water and water vapor evaporated into the steam per hour. It can be expressed as kg per hour, kg of kg of fuel, kg per hour meter square of heating surface. Actual evaporation is defined as the amount of water evaporated into the steam at actual working condition per kg of fuel burn. These are the measures of boilers and boiler efficiency is the performance. To compare the different boilers, we are using equivalent evaporation or actual evaporation.